So we get the Wireless Power Consortium. So what are you showing here? Uh, wireless Power Consortium is showing wireless charging. And we can see across the whole stretch of applications. In the furniture, on top of the furniture, in the cell phone, in the car, across the whole range. So what are you showing here, for example? This one is um, an application, automotive application. You see here, we put it in. Now it's charging. Now it's charging. All right. And uh, this is a prototype of a, an Arcos tablet? Of a, of a tablet, wireless charging. And uh, this is a See, no charging. Arcos yeah. Arcos. It's a prototype to show new, new, uh, new development. And what is this stuff? Wireless charging technology. Is this in the market? That says something about... This is a new... Uh, I hope so. So this is in the market? No, this is a new development to be able to do two together. So how, ma how many amps go through? Is it like Pardon? as much power as, as connecting a cable? You get the full power? So uh, it's very close. Like it takes 98% of the time uh, compared to uh, a plug-in. Uh, here is what's inside the uh, coils would be inside the charger. This is an example of the, right. the circuits. And this is what's happening. Uh, we're charging wirelessly because it's coil to coil charging. A magnetic field gets built up and that's how we transfer power. It's really uh, more than 100 years old technology, but now it's coming together with Qi because we need to all agree on the same communication method. So which kind of companies are part of Qi? Oh, uh, you can see the cell phone companies. You, you'll see, yeah, this is. You'll see more than 80% uh, of the world's cell phone manufacturing represented here. Mm -hmm. This is a prototype new development for uh, automotive. Uh, automotive stuff. Where you are wireless charging the phone and com connected to the car's screen. And so. Uh, there's a couple of three different uh, what's called uh, wireless charging competitors, are there on the market trying to get new? There are others, there are others, so but well, one is uh, this consortium uh, was established already in 2008. And this consortium has more than uh, 130 members. And we've been working on such a long time to build up our interoperability between from all the different members uh, to make sure that any Qi receiver sits on a Qi transmitter, it will charge. And that's what we want, Qi on Qi. It'll just work.